back after the, uh, the turkey that gave us the finger yesterday evening. It rained like a cow taking a leak on a flat rock about, what, 45 minutes ago? Yep. Time to get wet. We're uh, worried about getting across this ditch down here that apparently fills up with water pretty quick. So we've got to uh, get down here and scope that out. Maybe do a little tightrope walking or something. Get over in this old boy's neighborhood. Since we fooled with him in the evening, we figured he's going to be somewhere close this morning. Get down here and let him kick our teeth in again. Yeah, boys, I don't think we're going to get across that ditch. Jeez. Oh, let me see your light. Yeah, we stepped across that thing yesterday. Can you even see the log from there? Hell, even when you're standing on the log, you're going to be over your boots, ain't you? Pickle now, huh? Now we stepped across this thing yesterday. since we couldn't get across the creek. We've uh, considered swimming and enlisting the help of a boat captain. We may have to resort to that, but but we bumped into this old man that Blake knows out there on a black top. He kind of looked like he knew what he was talking about and sent us in here, so. <laughs> that old man was Mr. George Mayfield, so. He probably forgot more about turkey since he woke up this morning than I've ever known. So we're gonna go on his word and go out to the edge of this pine block here and see if we can uh, see if we can hear one. Back here uh, on the back oh. side of, huh? Come through where? Well, I mean, just hunt your way back this way. We're, I've got Dave. Which, Al, which uh, huh? Which way? I mean, because we've already, we keep coming east or Yeah, I would, I would go south. I would come on back in, okay. the, in the back, you know, and and uh, I was going to take uh, Dave uh, on back here to the back corner. Uh, uh, Blake had to go to the dentist supposedly or some and uh whatever but uh i got dave i was just trying to find him a turkey we ain't heard you, man I might, you know if you want to ease up there and check kick around to the right see if you can make him gobble there and we'll go on through this next thing go to the back i'll be real surprised if you don't get over there With the gaps in these trees, I feel like it's impossible to get there and see them before they see you, you know what? Yeah, 
walking she was walking up the up the hill as a little like a little clump like maybe a treetop or something that's fell pushing behind fell <clears throat> she's walking right in so we step back in step back out hoping that he might be following her but he can't see nothing now so. he ain't saw him yeah i know that's he's why I, that's why i asked him i said we thought we heard that gobble yeah he's down in here somewhere what i tell you what another yeah, thing. he made a gobble and it fed out in that three I, I set out Yesterday, I sat out in that stuff on top of that hill over there, mm -hmm. just, you know, listening. Mm -hmm. And I thought I heard a turkey call, mm -hmm. but I wasn't sure. And uh, toward, before I left, I started yelping just a little bit out there. Nothing answered me real quick. Mm -hmm. And then uh, a little hen cranked up on off that corner of those mm -hmm. pines up there. Then another one off down in here, three hens went to yelp. And uh, they were scattered out in that, that's nesting yeah, habitat. Yeah, they probably all there, probably all. Probably all. So what's going on? These gobblers. Trolling it. They're trolling the edges of these pines, that, yeah. that high hill bank yeah. right here through here. They're just trolling around and they will follow a hen off yeah. in that stuff. Yeah. And when I thought I heard one, I'm almost positive he was out in that nest. Mm -hmm. So, uh, he must have followed a little hen out there, you know. We can yeah. ease on toward the, the back back there. I know there's turkeys back there. We can try to strike one. Then we can come back down the dummy line and we can get on the, on the other side of these woods and call from that side. But, you know, that's one of the things that I like to do when I'm, I'm struggling to strike one is you're really calling it some of the same turkeys, but you're just hitting them from different, different angles. Angle. And it just seems sometimes they'll gobble. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know what it is. I mean, are you used to having hens come from that direction or what? Are they here better? Or, it don't really matter, but calling at them from different angles seems yeah. to work. Rather than just staying in one damn place and trying to Not make to mention, 20 minutes can make a lifetime of difference, you know? Oh, heck yeah. What they'll do 20 minutes from now is a whole lot different what they'll do 20 minutes ago. Yeah. Yeah. I know yeah. you sat to them and yeah. them guy was 30 minutes, just yeah. hard as hell. Yeah. And then, yep. You know, shut it up. Next time you hear them, you're on that next ridge over there, gobbling like hell. So, I mean, oh, like, that's a good point. Don't you know, long, make yeah. a big difference. You want to try to call from here? Yeah, I would. And then we'll, if we don't strike one here, we'll go yonder and try to strike one, you know. Mm -hmm. some calling in a big long lane about 250 over this way had three turkeys come up over the rise look jakish but definitely male turkeys one of them was a bit colored more than the other one but we weren't able to confirm gobbler or jake or longbeard or jake so we got back to mr george he made a salute said the turkeys might be
to the ground. See her right there. You still see her? She went on. She kept on going left, didn't she? As I was saying, we're trying to get around in front of the turkeys that just come up on us on that other lane. Just had a hen interrupt our little catch up moment. So we're fixing to get in the woods and kind of make some ground that dang way and down that way. And so we're fixing to get in these woods. You think we need to get in these woods? Just ease down that way and see if we can't lay eyes on them or strike them, but they hadn't it hadn't been a goblin day. They ain't doing their part. We're doing ours, but they ain't doing theirs. So, we will continue forging on. That hen bumped into another hen, didn't she? What the hell was that? Strutting right here, big strutter right here. Got a hand with him.
button right here. Here, here, just hold it. There's a little F in the bottom left now. Look in the screen. There's a little F. Yeah. See this little ring right here in the front? That's how you focus it. Couldn't get him out of strike, could we? That's another long beard right there. Another strutter, another long beard, and another strutter. See the strutter at the end. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Hey, this, sure, hey, this sure. one's full strut right there and a long beard with him. Wonderful, him wonderful. Plenty of seed. Hey, look. It's all good, brother. It's all good. How did that happen? Well, you know, huh? We were here. Stayed with it, I didn't told, I? I, told. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen, but I know what I got. <laughs> <laughs> God. Well, you did good. You did good. We slipped in there in that dang hen. I saw that little hen come by. Wasn't that cool? I was sitting there telling us, we, we finna make a loop on them. And he said, there's a hen 50 yards. We hit the ground, she got it past us. But then we heard them fighting. We heard yeah, them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I crawled out there. Did, and wasn't it gobble somewhere? There was know, a gobble it? somewhere in there when they, when, when they cut. Mm -hmm. I, it was a gobble, but it was distant. It was right back well, that the, way. The, the one strutting in there, you, he's a long that way was, down there. That was probably what I yeah, heard. Yeah, he's way I down heard there. I gobble. Yeah. And uh, dude, this that was incredible. Well, well, get some video. I want, I want to <laughs> congratulate my buddy I here. I think I can't thank hey. you enough. Well, look, there's, man, there's a few things people can do for me that I appreciate uh, more than a turkey. Listen, don't ever try to bullshit a shit, okay? <laughs> don't shit. somebody that's being as nice as he was about not killing the turkey, you know, he's a guy, and I'm not, you know? and I'm not and one he's of those, not guys. those guys. But yeah. let me tell you what, I knew it. he wanted to everybody likes to shoot one, don't they? Hey. If you a turkey on <laughs> I didn't think that joker, he, he didn't come out of strut. I shot him in strut, had to. Look at this joker, would you? Oh, man, they're so beautiful. I love them. I love them with, with, with all that I am. And and sharing them is about as good as it gets. It is. It's better than me killing a turkey, I promise you. There's a, there's a commonness, there, there's a bonding. Turkey hunters are few, real turkey hunters are, and I don't mean that to be condescending. Mm -hmm. I don't really mean it that way. But people that have devoted their life to mm -hmm. it are few and far between. Absolutely. There's a lot of people that experience it. 
and it's worth experiencing. Everybody, well, sure, even part you never time. know when you're going to find those people that's ready to put their life to but, saving them. But, you know what I mean? Right. And they got to experience it to figure it out if that but, that has that if they have that gene. That's you know. Right. That's right. But the the people that have have chosen to this is the way I'm gonna live and and I'm not gonna put turkeys. I've never done it. Put it before my family. But there's no reason to. You don't have to live that way. I mean, you can live with your family first and God, and then, then, you know, rather than do something else with, with my life, uh, making money. I mean, mm -hmm. I get making money. You mm -hmm. gotta have money. You can't live without it. But I think I've I've enjoyed my life more than most people normally would have because of this bird, mm -hmm. not because. Uh, any financial success or anything like yeah. that. I mean, these animals are just, they're so special. This is, a, uh, Dave, this is the last thing that we really have in this part of the country that's wild. Mm -hmm. He's been, he's been, been dragging them, hasn't he? Golly. He's wild. Mm -hmm. You know, he's not, he's not kept. Yep. The deer are pretty much kept these yep. days, unfortunately. Pets, almost. You know? People. It's hard to keep these as pets. They don't. They don't. They don't allow that. They don't. They don't, they don't eat. The deer. I mean, you know, you could force yourself on them, but they don't need us. They don't do just quite well without us. They do well in spite of us. Mm -hmm. People, the ego maniacs that think that there's wild turkeys around because of them. They're just not really paying too much attention to what's going on. If you claim to be in love with that animal or any other animal for that matter or anything in life you gotta you gotta show it sometime or another mm -hmm. and uh and 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 we're god we're blessed i don't know anything about you son but i like you because you're respectful and you're quiet and you look like you you really you kind of get it you the only know? time i've seen him smile was when the turkey oh, ran off like when the turkey Ryan ran off right and now. when i looked at him when he was holding that video camera what'd you say he said uh, I aced that sh or something. Yeah, that's good. I, I mean, you know, you you're the future of turkey hunting, and uh, you're you're the people of your generation, and uh, that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. It's in good hands if they're like you. Uh, and I'm just happy to to be able to before I can't pass some of it on. I really do want to finish my book while I can. And I think we'd all appreciate that. I know. Well, I, you know, I'm going to ask you now. I, I need your help. I don't know how you can help. I don't know what, you, but I know you can. You know, and I don't mean selling books. Mm -hmm. I just, you know, just talk, just say what you want to when you can about, you know, the whole idea about all this stuff that we're trying to, you know, uh, share with people hey we appreciate you guys joining us for this video if you like this one you'll probably like the next one i'll leave it up here in the corner don't forget to subscribe and follow along with us or leave our social media links down at the description below that's also where you'll be able to find links on the turkey calls we use and the apparel we wear and that kind of stuff so you can find that in that little drop down description below and uh, as always we sure appreciate you guys following along